Welcome to week seven of our 17 week series as we go through our building center to give you an in-depth look at our building process of your new Palm Harbor home. This week, we present our countertop and cabinet shop. Hi folks, I'm Howard Broughton with the Palm Harbor Building Center in Fort Worth. And today we have a treat for you. We're gonna talk about cabinets. In our cabinet shop, we build cabinets, assemble them, pre-assemble them, and put them onto the production line. And as you can see, all of your kitchen cabinets are made all in one department where they're all put together. And we, we uh, take them off so that if we drop things onto the countertops, they're not gonna hit that farm sink. Your faucets are already mounted. It's in a better efficient way to do the production line. That's all been put on. You can see our styles and notice how this style runs where you can't even fill the seam across the fronts. That's set up for the drawer guides. Now come around here and let me show you what the drawer guides do. In the state there are 19 manufacturers. We are the only ones that use a drawer guide system with ball bearing roller guides. It allows you to pull the drawer completely out beyond the cabinet, which we're going to show you in another scene. But these are heavy duty drawer guides, the same ones as you would find in a commercial filing cabinet. And you will find these drawer guides in ours because they will last you years and years and years of use. And that's what you want. Not build a grade, but you want to upgrade with the Palm Harbor product. So here's our base cabinet and it's all put together. Our laminates have been put on. The seams have been done. All they're ready to do now is transfer them and put them onto the floors. This is the kitchen island. Let's go to the, the laminate shop and let's show you what they're doing in there. Okay, now we're back in the laminate countertop work area of the factory. We build our own lavatories. We build our own kitchen sink cabinets. And as you can see, they've already cut out for the lavatory for the base cabinet. These boards laying up against the wall are cutouts for sinks and for islands. We make those and prescribe those specifically for every floor plan. So once they're made from there, they'll move to a laminate process, which we'll show you over here. If you turn, you see those that are set up there. You see how the lavatories are already cut out of them? Let's go to the next department over here. One of the things we do at Palm Harbor is we buy our laminates in large sheets. If you'll notice on any of our kitchens, unlike our competitors, you won't find seams in our countertops on the kitchen cabinets. Most of our competitors piecemeal in a lot of pieces. We buy the large sheets in the cabinet to build our cabinet countertops. Now step over here just a moment, let me show you what's going on next. Here's an island top, and this gentleman has been doing this for years, and you can see how precise it has to be in order for him to have an edge on that that you're not gonna feel with your finger. That's put on very tight, and that's got the glue down, and he's setting it up for the island top. When the day is done, he will build three kitchens, six bathrooms, all in this one room to put all these laminates in. These are the beginning of the tops that you saw in the previous part of the video. Now let's go look at the final product, see what that looks like. One other note before we step up to the final product, we wanted to show you how each portion of the cabinets is assembled in the building center, precise to what is needed for that floor plan. So you see here they're putting together a white cabinet and they're putting the reinforcement in with a little pin nail so that they won't show. But each one of the cabinets are assembled at our cabinet shop and then set up to move over to assemble and install on the floor plan. All right, here we are in a cabinet shop and we want to show you something a bit unique about what we do at Palm Harbor here in Fort Worth. This is a, a drawer built by our cabinet shop and if you notice, it's five ply birch plywood. It's not an oriented strand board, it's not an MDF. It's a five by ply birch plywood. And that gives us a very sturdy, strong drawer. And it's made with a notch in it. That notch is the shelf of the base of the drawer, how that's gonna go in and fit tightly. The reason I show you that is a lot of manufacturers just staple them onto it. It's not gonna hold long-term well. This is very good because it's very stable. It's not gonna come out once it goes into that groove. So we got an excellent piece above grade for a drawer system. On our doors, we use the kind of drawer hin the door hinge that allows us to be able to set that door this way or working so it fits the opening 
because it's an adjustable type of hinge. We sock it in by pre-drilling the hole and mount that onto it and when it goes onto the cabinet itself it can then be adjusted even by the consumer years later. You have a kid that jumps on that and it starts to pull the drawer down or something. You can actually loosen these screws and adjust the door yourself. The homeowner can do that. So that allows them to do that. That's a better hinge and it's much stronger and sturdier than what you find in most companies. Most companies just give you a hinge and it's not even adjustable. In addition to that, we use a nice black handle wide enough to get your hand under it. And that's going to be both types of doors that have this. Our white doors, gray doors, dark doors, they're all going to have the same type. Alright, let's go to the finished product to show you what it looks like on the house. Now let's show you some of the finished product as it comes out of the factory going under the, uh, the testing area right now where they're spit shining and cleaning up and wiping down. But I want to show you what the cabinet shop has done. Cabinet shop, of course, they cut our window sill. See how nicely that goes in. The sink, as we showed you, was covered up. So the farm sink is nice, flush application, smooth edge on the crescent edge. Got the, got the uh, faucet that's a pull-down faucet for that. And then if we come over here, I want to show you these drawers. Now that the drawer is complete, notice that a drawer can be pulled all the way out with the back of the drawer completely out. So when you're looking for something, it's not difficult to find it at all. That's an excellent drawer. You shop all over the state. You will not find this in any other house. We're the ones that build the side mount roller drawer systems with the heavy steel roller guides with the ball bearings. Excellent drawer system. Quiet, easy to run, big handles. So that works. Here we're using 42 inch cabinets. Those houses with lower ceilings, they're not going to be able to give you the big cabinets that we've got here because the ceilings are too low. So we use the 42 inch cabinets. When you have a cabinet like this, it allows you to put extra storage for shelves on the inside. You can see how that's done. There's one cabinet. Let me show you this one. You notice the adjustments? So you'll get one cabinet up at the top unless you ask for more as an option. But there's one cabinet where you can adjust the shelves because you can press these in and adjust that shelf up or down however you want to do it. So you've got an adjustable shelf over on that side. That's the overhead. These doors can become in hardwood if you want them in hardwood or they can come in the MDF product. So this just gives you a quick idea of how we do our cabinets, how we cut the corners. And notice this, you got a seam, but you got no seam in your countertop. Same thing over here. There's no seam in the countertop. We take pride in doing that. It costs a little bit more, but we think a consumer would want it more that way. One of the things we do at Palm Harbor is it takes a little more time, but you'll often see that the tops are one color and the base is another color, contrasting color. The marketplace loves that right now, and we're doing that, and this adds a much more beautiful home and adds a little more excitement to your home as the years of your enjoyment. Thanks for watching today. And our next move will be moving up the production line.